to the second half of Central Michigan versus JMU. Second half. Second half getting ready to start. It'll be a 27 minute and 19 second second half. Pretty bad false starts all the way around, so let's back them up and run them again. Two players for Central Michigan retired off the rush, and one player for JMU retired off the rush. CMU losing number zero there. Only with three balls right now. And three players on the sideline. Great catch there by number 12. Brings back in number two, the Valley for Central Michigan. JMU with throwers at the corners right now. Number 21 for JMU eliminated. I don't think you saw that ball coming in.
by 69. Christian Chalishkin brings back in number 15. Why is he angry? Because that timeout. Oh. If, if they would have made that timeout call, they would be up right now. It's like the Chris Weber moment of the NCDA has finally arrived. Calls that could have gone either way. Ref called them out. So we go. Absolutely. Central Michigan finally getting off their back line for the first time this game. We're about six minutes into this point. JMU dominated those first six minutes, keeping CMU back on their own baseline. from CMU. Third Chippewa, though, out this round. Number zero. Thank 
Cardella there. Sizemore, number 92, getting eliminated here. Don't know if you picked it up on the microphone, but Wes Peters imploring his fellow Chippewas, do not throw at number 15, Cardella. He's already had several key catches during this point. Number two for Jamie going down there on attempted catch. 69 for Central Michigan. They both threw at the same time. The JMU player was able to hit him on the knee. JMU, that's a big loss. Probably their best arm. And the Valley, number two for Central Michigan, getting on there shortly thereafter. Central Michigan still in control at this point, though. About 16 minutes left in the second half. down there, I believe, on a catch by the Central Michigan player. There are five dukes left, make that four. They will be on the 10 second shot clock. JMU, only two Dukes left now, number 74, Booker, and number 21. And number 21 is eliminated for JMU, so it's all down to Booker now. He gets hit on the foot, and that will do it. Central Michigan ties the game off 1-1 with Kirk. 13.47 left in the second half. We'll be back with point number three here in a minute.